Hey, welcome back everyone to your C programming tutorial series. This video we are going to continue our discussion on Linux commands. So make sure you watch the previous video because that kind of laid the foundation of how Linux works and why we are talking about Linux when this is supposed to be a C programming tutorial series. <laughs> so let's just get started, no more wasting time. <laughs> One thing I would like to share with you is that you can imagine the Linux filing system as a tree. Now, I wish I could draw this for you, but I'm limited to just this computer screen. But when you run PWD, you get the absolute path of where you are. You can think of the slash users as a branch to this tree. This brings up many important terms relating to paths that you should know. The first one is root directory. When someone says root directory, they are referring to the very first directory. To get to the very first directory, all you have to do is say cd slash. And now when we say pwd, you can see we are at the very beginning. Another important directory is called the home directory. Now to get to the home directory, all you have to do is type cd. Very simple. Press enter. And then pwd you can see that we are in users slash Caleb Curry. So Caleb Curry is my home directory. If you are a very visual learner, it might help you to open a finder or a window or whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> this is the home directory. Next, we can travel to the users directory. And then inside of the users directory, we can travel to our home directory. This is the folder that we are currently in inside of the terminal. So let's get rid of that. There is also a way you can refer to the home directory, and that is using the tilde. So for example, we could say change directory tilde, and that'll do the same exact thing. The benefit of this though, over just using CD, is that we can reference stuff from the home directory. So for example, if we list our directory, we can see there's this YouTube folder. So I could go into that folder by doing something like CD tilde slash YouTube. And now we are in the YouTube folder. This is a good example of a relative path. We don't really care where the home directory is. We're not starting from the very beginning by starting with the slash and then putting users and then blah, blah, blah. We're just saying, hey, let's go from the home directory and then travel into the YouTube folder. We can actually do some more complex things. For example, we can use relative paths to list certain folders. So for example, if I wanted to see what was inside of the parent folder, all I'd have to do is say ls dot dot. And you can see it lists all of the stuff inside of, if we pwd, inside of Caleb Curry. We could even do ls dot dot slash dot dot. And what this does is actually lists everything in the users folder. These are things you're not gonna really have to use that often, but it's useful to know that you can do that. If I wanted to, for example, go into this shared folder, what I could do is first compare it to where we are currently at, we are in YouTube. So we need to go up a parent, up a parent, and then down into the shared folder. So we could say cd dot dot slash dot dot slash shared. Print working directory, and you can see we are now in the shared folder. That's pretty cool. I think that's enough about listing directories and moving around in the file system. Now I wanna talk about creating files. First, I want to go to the Caleb Curry slash YouTube folder. So to do that, all we gotta do is say cd home slash YouTube. And now let's create a file using the touch command. So anything that comes after the touch is the file name that we want to create. So we could say file name dot C. Now, when we list the files, you can see we have the file name dot C right here. Now that we have a file, let's talk about how to move this file around. Let's say I wanted to move this file up into the Caleb Curry folder. Currently, it is in YouTube, and I want to put it into Caleb Curry. The command to do that is MV, and then you say the name, and then you say where you want to put it. So we want to put it in the parent. Enter. Now, let's view the files in the parent. To do that, we can say ls dot dot. And let's look for it, file name dot c, right there, oh yeah. Now, this part's kind of odd, but you can actually rename files using the move command. Because if you think about it, we could move this file to the same location with a new name. That's kind of how I like to think about it or how I grasp that concept. So let's try that. First, 
let's move it back into the YouTube folder. So let's move file name dot C into the current directory. But this is actually not going to work because the file name dot C, that'll be searched for in the current directory. So we need to go up to the parent because we're currently in the YouTube folder. So we are here. The file name is inside of Caleb Curry. So we need to go up to the parent and then grab file name dot C. Then we need to say where we're going to move that, which is the current directory, which is YouTube. So right here. <laughs> Hopefully that's clear as mud. <laughs> okay, let's run this. And now when we say ls, you can see the only file inside of YouTube is file name dot C. Now to rename this file, all we have to do is say move file name dot C. So the original file name and then space and then the new file name new.c. Then when we list the files, you can see that the file name is no longer there and it's replaced with new.c. Lastly, let's get rid of this useless file using the rm or remove command. And there you go, it is now gone. <laughs> Don't feel like you have to have all of this memorized by the end of this video. Like really, this takes a lot of practice. The next video is going to be the last video on Linux, and then we're going to get back into C programming. So thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, and I will catch you then. Peace.